people, over 5 million doses of vaccines have been administered uh, in the country so far. At the same time, over 1.6 million people have been fully vaccinated. Gauteng Department of Health, uh, HOD, Dr. Simon Gile Zungu, uh, joining us uh, this morning for an update on what our vaccine rollout program uh, looks like in the province. Uh, doctor, good morning to you. Always a pleasure speaking to you. So many things, of course, can affect uh, the vaccine rollout. I'd like to start just to get your thoughts uh, and your understanding. How damaging was the violence and looting uh, that we saw in Gauteng province last week to the vaccine rollout? Good morning. Good morning, Richard, and good morning to your listeners. Um, the, the, it, it was uh, the violence that was last week was really a setback for, for the province given that uh, it was uh, really starting to take off in terms of the vaccine uh, rollout program and also as well as uh, the issues of management of COVID-19. So it left us uncertain as to the impact of the, uh, the, the loosening of guard in, in terms of COVID-19 protocols and also because we had to close some of the, the sites mm. for safety of our health workers and safety of the users of the system. And uh, also we had started a program in the first week of July to take the vaccine out to the people. And uh, that program uh, was also uh, impacted by the, the, the unrest because it wasn't going to be safe for the vehicles, not safe for the vaccine, and uh, not safe for, for our health workers and, and, and the vaccinees as well. So it, it was quite a setback because we had started to see the numbers rising on, on, the, on the daily averages, uh, uh, you know, and uh, then we, we, we started seeing the numbers uh, coming down a bit. The system seemed to be resilient uh, as um, some sites continued to operate, However, others did not, and, and that did uh, give us a setback in the momentum that we had picked up. The opening of um, the, the vaccine uh, rollout program to the 35 to 49 year age group did assist to, to improve the, the, the tempo on, on the vaccination because that group in the Gauteng province uh, within two days had already registered over 500,000 uh, 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 people to do, be Do you vaccinated. think, Doctor, that's because the, the 35-year-olds, respectfully to the, I'm going to call them more experienced uh, members of our population, uh, are a bit more tech-savvy? Uh, and able to, to register, but also, uh, do you expect that the younger generation, the 35s uh, to 49s, are actually going to bring their older parents uh, with as well now? Are you, are you expecting an uptick uh, in, in vaccinations? It definitely, definitely. What we saw was that, uh, it, for instance, when we opened sites over the weekend, we, we saw the younger people coming with the older people, bringing in their grandparents, some of them driving with them in their cars. And definitely because they are tech savvy and uh, because they could assist a lot more people knowing that they will also accompany them and be with them. And the, the way they have spread the message, they have become ambassadors of the vaccine rollout program. And it, and it has created a sense of excitement amongst uh, um, ourselves as, as, as the health workers. It has created a sense of excitement also amongst the, 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 the other users that we are seeing even the numbers of the 60 and above mm. starting to increase also with the coming in of the younger age groups. Doctor, do we have enough vaccines uh, for uh, these new age groups coming in? Because as I mentioned, we may have had some older members of the population not wanting to go. They're now going to want to go because their children are potentially taking them to vaccine sites. Uh, what is our uh, vaccine numbers looking like? Are we going to have enough uh, to handle this new cohort? At the moment, we, we are satisfied with the, with the vaccines that we have until uh, we get a, a new consignment. So for about a, a, a two weeks, in Gauteng, at the rate that we are vaccinating, uh, we are going to be able to proceed because we are now moving towards a, a, a 30,000 mark. Uh, yesterday's figures were at 27,000, almost 28,000. And if we go at that rate, we will probably, if I were to average it at uh, about 
40 something a, a, a thousand a, a daily, mm. we will be able to then vaccinate for the next two weeks. Just a, a quick question before I say goodbye, last 30 seconds or so, Doctor. Off the, uh, the first part of our conversation, the looting, the violence last week, voluntarily closing down a number of vaccination sites. As of today, it, are all the uh, vaccination sites in Gauteng back up uh, and running the way they were before? All the vaccination sites are, are back up and, and, and running, and then uh, we have also added additional sites uh, uh, to, to, to those that we, we had. So it's all systems go in, in, in the Gauteng province. And I appreciate your time in speaking to us. Uh, thanks uh, indeed for your time. Dr. Sibon Gile Zungu uh, joining us uh, is uh, from the Gauteng Department of Health, HOD. For that, so some good news, even off the back of last week's uh, violence, uh, the uh, vaccination sites are up and running again.